What up? It is literally 5.15 in the morning. Super early, but I didn't want to miss the opportunity to do one this morning while I had some time uh, in the store. And uh, I do a Bible reading called We Are Church Reading. And the verses today are out of Romans, which is a book written by Paul. Uh, while he was in prison to the Roman church to encourage their hearts. And uh, anyways, it was verses 18 through pretty much like the end. But there was uh, one verse that really stuck out to me. And it was the very first one in the reading today, which was verse 18. It says, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed to us. For the creation waits eagerly and longing, revealing to the sons of God. But it says, for I don't consider that the sufferings of the present time are worthy of comparing to what's to come. And if there's one thing that is so true, I say there's lots of things that are true. There's lots of things that are false. But you're going to have hard times. You're going to have hard times spiritually. You're going to have hard times financially. Uh, you're going to have hard times uh, at work. You're going to have hard times mentally. You're going to have hard times in marriage, man. Uh, you're going to have hard times with a girlfriend. You're going to have hard times in school. You're going to have hard times as an outdoorsman. And really, you just got to keep persevering, bro. You got to keep pushing. You got to keep grinding. And uh, why is that, right? Uh, because there's, there's ups and there's downs. And when you're in the downs, you got to realize, Hey, it's just a part of life. And I really believe that it's a character builder, man. Like I can remember when you see the store behind me, you know, and I love watching you run around it. Uh, but when, man, when I, when I, when, when your grandfather and I started the store, Dude, it was slow. It was slow, and we just had to keep persevering and keep grinding and keep being faithful and keep being consistent. And that's really that's what I was gonna say. When you're down, when you're in those down times, when you're in those suffering times, dude, it's it's easy to feel like you want to give up. But I'm a big believer that those are the times that you build the most character as a man. And really, what you can build is that what I call the consistency bone that day that, um, uh, or that, you know, when you're just not feeling it, but you just go do it anyways, your mama just did, uh, an iron man, dude, it was unbelievable. So tough. Um, you were there. I don't know if you'll remember it or not, but we got a bunch of pictures of it, but your mom just did an iron man and just the consistency day in and day out of her training, you know, she, she'd be like, Man, there's days where I wasn't really feeling like training, but she'd go out and knock out a five mile run and a two mile swim, and and that builds character because there's going to be times, man, when you're down and out, and in sports, man, you're you're going to have times where you're just feeling like a failure. You're feeling dumb. You're like, what am I doing? But you really just got to grind, bro. You just got to build that consistency bone and just absolutely grind. But uh, be encouraged. You know, because, uh, you know, I don't know where it is, but uh, there's a verse that says this too shall pass. And it's the reality. It's the reality of life, man. It doesn't matter whether you're in the lows of life, man. This too shall pass. There's something better. Don't get too high in the highs because I promise this too shall pass. Life is about dealing with those failures. And those failures are going to build your character and, and build you into the man who you're going to be. So, you know. When you're suffering, when you're grinding, when you're in the low times, when you feel like you're in a tunnel and you can't see the light, you just got to keep grinding. Because I promise there's good days to come, man. One of my favorite bass fishermen, uh, Rick Clun, he won one of these giant majors on the Elite Series. He won it at age like 76, became the oldest guy to ever win one. And on stage, he said, never believe that your best days are behind you always believe that your best days are ahead of you and the older i get 
and the older, you know, other people get too. I think we have this tendency to realize you'll, you'll see one day, like people will be like, Oh, the best time you better live it up in high school. Cause it's your best times. Well, I'll be honest. I didn't have a great time in high school. And I, I live with the mentality that my best days are yet to come. I can't wait to go on more trips with you and mama to, uh, national parks. And I can't wait to travel the world and, and, share fishing memories and kill some big deer together or whatever we do together. I can't wait to do it, but you can't live in the past and say, you know, Oh, well, the, your best days are behind, you Nope. you got to believe that the best days are ahead of you. And that's what it's saying. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy of comparing with the glory that will be revealed to us. Now to put this also into a biblical perspective, uh, not that that wasn't biblical. What I just said, but uh, man, you're, the reality is we are going to suffer in this world, whether it's persecution because of our faith in Jesus or persecution because your faith in things that you believe in, uh, you know, whatever it is, there's there's going to be people that definitely push back against you and be encouraged, man, because really, you know, just like just like I told you, life is but a vapor, man. Uh, you know, it's here one day, gone the next. And, you know, I really believe that there's life after death. You know, because this life is just so short. and You'll see it. Like I said, I don't know when you'll start watching these videos and even understanding these videos. But life is so short. And you'll come to realize that. And, uh, you know, I've seen the goodness of God in my life. Your mother and I have seen God's hand in our life. And it has encouraged my heart and your mama's heart and our family's heart. And, uh, yeah, but there's going to be tough times. And, you know. I really believe that our best days are ahead of us, whether it be in this world uh, or in life after death. But anyways, I hope you have a great day. I love you a ton. And I have got to go take somebody fishing. So anyways, love you, dude. Crush it. Have a great day. See you, bud.